Hey Juice Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So I've been doing a little series on the things that I put in my lemon water and how each component in itself is so incredible and that includes ginger, turmeric for which curcumin is the main um, active ingredient and then because of that black pepper which stimulates the curcumin by 2000 percent in the ability to be absorbed and finally of course lemon which is so primary and i even leave the pith on to get the maximum nutrients and of course water for which i highly recommend distilled all right so this is about just the benefits of lemon themselves so it says, how can lemons benefit your health? Lemons are a popular fruit that people use in small quantities to add flavor to their food. However, they rarely consume them alone due to their intense sour taste, which I absolutely love. Like all of my life, toss up between lemon cake or chocolate cake, you know, lemonade or what I like always lemon, 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 probably to the detriment of my teeth because I would like to eat them whole and freak people out. Um, but I just absolutely love all things lemon, except for artificial lemon, which isn't completely true. When I used to eat junk, I used to have uh, lemon heads, which I loved. But what I mean is if they have lemon scented, blah, 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 forget it. My asthma goes crazy. My allergies go crazy. It's suicide. So only natural lemon, but oh my gosh, how much I love it. And I'm always so tempted to just mow the thing because I love them. So lemons give flavor to baked goods, sauces, salad dressings, marinades, drinks, and desserts, and they're also a good source of vitamin C, which is a hyperlink. And by the way, this is actually from Medical News Today, but I am going to also include the Healthline article, which is much shorter, but it was on lemon water, and this more specifically is on the fruit lemon itself. One 58-gram lemon can provide over 30 milligrams of vitamin C. Vitamin C is essential for health and a deficiency can lead to health problems. The early explorers knew this and took lemons on their long voyages to help prevent or treat scurvy. And that's a hyperlink. A life-threatening condition that was common among sailors. So true. This article looks at the nutritional content of lemons, their possible health benefits, ways to use them in food, and any potential health risk. Lemons are an excellent source of vitamin C and flavonoids, which are antioxidants. Antioxidants help remove free radicals that can damage cells from the body. These nutrients can help prevent diseases and boost health and well-being. Here are some of the possible benefits of consuming lemons. One, lowering risk of stroke. Wow. According to a 2012 study, the flavonoids in citrus fruits may help lower the risk of ischemic stroke in women. Ah, uh, so important. A study with data from nearly 70,000. Okay, that is a significant test worth our attention. A study of 70,000 women over 14 years, so it ran for 14 years, showed that those who ate the most citrus fruits in general had a 19% lower risk of ischemic stroke than the women who consumed the least. Ischemic stroke is the most common type of stroke. It can happen when a blood clot blocks the flow of blood to the brain. Yeah, my father had a bunch of those. We didn't even know. Like they did a scan and saw a bunch of little baby ones that had happened before the major one that took him out. A 2019 population study showed that long-term regular consumption of foods that contain flavonoids might help protect against cancer and cardiovascular disease. However, the study indicated that people who smoked or consumed a lot of alcohol, both knows, were less likely to benefit. You've got to consider that if you're still tricking yourself. I have a friend who like, well, I only smoke like five cigarettes. I, I usually only have two a day, so it's only a pack for like every two weeks. No, no, no. And besides, if they're confessing to two or five, they're probably doing 10 or 12, let's be fair. <laughs> and then, of course, alcohol, we've talked about that. It just stumps the body's ability to do anything once that poison is introduced to the blood. Potassium may help lower the risk of stroke. 
which foods contain potassium, and that's a hyperlink. Okay, blood pressure. One 2014 study found that women in Japan who walked regularly and consumed lemon every day had lower blood pressure than those who did not. More research is needed to identify the role of lemon in this improvement and to discover whether consuming lemon can help reduce blood pressure since walking daily can also lower it. Yeah, that was very... I see the confusion in that. Cancer prevention. Lemons and lemon juice are an excellent source of antioxidant vitamin C. Antioxidants may help prevent free radicals from causing cell damage that can lead to cancer. However, exactly how antioxidants can help prevent cancer remains unclear. Maintaining a healthy complexion. What? Vitamin C plays a vital role in the formation of collagen, the support system of the skin. Sun exposure, pollution, age, and other factors can result in skin damage. A 2014 mouse study. Are you kidding me? Like, uh, suggested that either eating vitamin C in its natural form. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm giggling one because I'm overtired, but two, how pray tell is a mouse's skin with their little fur and everything going to compare to the human complexion? Like, why? Why? Um, or applying a topic that can help prevent this type of damage. Preventing asthma. People with asthma who consume higher amounts of vitamin C and other nutrients when they have a cold may experience fewer asthma attacks. Yay. The author found evidence that vitamin C also benefited people with bronchial hypersensitivity when they had the common cold. Number six, increasing iron absorption. So many people are concerned about that. They all say they're anemic. They all say they're low in iron. Iron deficiency is a leading cause of anemia. Pairing foods that are high in vitamin C with iron-rich foods maximizes the body's ability to absorb iron. However, a high intake of vitamin C can trigger gastrointestinal problems in people who are taking iron supplements. For this reason, it's best to obtain iron from dietary sources such as lentils, raisins, dried beans, and spinach. I'm leaving out beef liver and animal meats. <laughs> Squeezing a little lemon juice onto a salad containing baby spinach leaves can help maximize the intake of both iron and vitamin C. Number seven, boosting the immune system. Foods that are high in vitamin C and other antioxidants may help strengthen the immune system against the germs that cause the common flu and cold. One review found that while vitamin C supplements do not appear to reduce the incidence of colds in population, they may help reduce the length of the time of a cold. Vitamin C also helps boost immunity in people who are undergoing extreme physical activity. Not my problem. <laughs> Squeezing a whole lemon into a glass of hot water with a large spoonful of honey makes a soothing drink for someone with a cough or cold. Number eight, weight loss. In a 2008 study, rodents who consumed lemon peel phenols with a high diet as if any rodent would ever arrange for this. I'm having trouble with all this animal testing stuff, people, because I don't think it's necessary and because we don't get the results that we need to know about since they start on animals and then essentially throw that out and move to humans. Start with humans. There are a ton of volunteers out there. All right. So rodents who consume lemon peel phenols with a high fat diet for 12 weeks gained less weight than those who did not consume lemon. In 2016, 84 premenopausal Korean women with a high body mass index, BMI, followed a lemon detox diet or another diet for seven days. Those who followed the lemon detox diet experienced greater improvements in insulin resistance, body fat, BMI, body weight, and waist hip ratio than those on other diets. Seven days. Give me a break. <laughs> You can tell my tolerance is a little low. And as I'm sitting here, I am hurting myself because I fell today. Oh my gosh. Okay, it was classic. Sidebar. I'm out there and my husband shows up. So I'm like, oh, I'll help him out. Go open the gate and la la la. And then in superhero mode, I decide that I'm going to go check the mailbox and bring in the trash can too. <laughs> so he's in his truck, like 
closing it up and getting the stuff and I go and I get the trash can and it's kind of like on an incline and of course it's just dirt we're in the desert all of a sudden my feet start sliding <laughs> my feet start sliding and <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am, I get so giggly when I'm tired, bear with me. And as I'm sliding, I decide to reach for the trash can, which of course has wheels on it. And the trash can starts sliding out from under itself and taking me right down. And I fell to the ground and I'm laying here going, are you kidding me? Of course, right? I hurt my hands, scraped both knees, scraped my elbow. And I'm just lying there. And I'm like, didn't my husband see that? So he is totally like rushing over and he is also <laughs> trying not to laugh because he can tell on my elbows, bloody and everything else. Excuse me, Sina? Sina, mom is allowed to talk without consequence. Excuse me, one? Yeah, do not make me go there. Don't do it, Zena. You're making a bad choice right now. Gosh, she's so strong now. One moment, please. I have to talk to my little person. It's crazy. If she hears me giggling or seemingly talking to people, she like trips out. But anyway, God bless her. Yeah, so he comes over and he's like, that was the weirdest thing. <laughs> it was like you were falling in slow motion. I was like, I know. Because I was trying to do everything not to fall. Oh my gosh, it was brilliant. Anyway, so I'm kind of sitting here hurting. But let's keep going a minute because you guys are so worth it. And I wanted to share part four of my lemon water. Okay, so vitamin C is essential nutrient and an antioxidant. If a person does not consume enough vitamin C, they will develop a deficiency, which is known as scurvy. It is rare in the United States, but it can affect people who do not have a varied diet. Symptoms can start to appear within a month of not consuming vitamin C. Yeah, and it's super important because your body can't retain vitamin C. It's something you have to put in all the time. Some of the symptoms are fatigue, malaise, which is a feeling of unwell, inflammation of the gums. Ooh, remember when my gums were super inflamed for like weeks? I'm trying to remember back. Actually, I'm sure I have a journal. I'd love to know if I was vitamin. Seems impossible because you know me, I'm a total citric ad, you know, addict and plus greens and things have citric, but so interesting. I never figured out what caused those inflamed gums. Okay, so inflammation of the gums or bleeding gums. Red patches on the skin due to blood vessel breaking beneath the skin. Joint pain. Slow wound healing. Loosening of teeth. Oh, how scary is that? Depression. Many of these happen when the connective tissue weakens due to the lack of vitamin C. Since vitamin C helps the body absorb iron, people who are deficient in iron may also develop anemia. Okay, so why do we need vitamin C? Here's the nutritional facts for it. One lemon, and, and literally when I make my lemon water, I just put a whole lemon in there. The uh, amount of calories is 16.8. Carbohydrates are 5.41 grams. Calcium, 15.1 milligrams. Iron, 0.35 milligrams. Magnesium, 4.6 milligrams. Phosphorus, 9.3 milligrams. Potassium, 80 milligrams. Selenium, 0 0.2 micrograms. Vitamin C, 30.7 milligrams. Folate, 6.4 mcg. Choline, 3.0 mg. Vitamin A, 0 0.6 mg. And lutein, or um, and z z z zaxan, are 6.4. The current gu um, dietary guidelines recommend an intake of 75 milligrams of vitamin C per day for women aged 19 years and older and 90 milligrams for men. So interesting that it's more for men. Smokers need 35 milligrams per day more than non-smokers. Lemons also contain small amounts of thiamine, riboflavin, vitamin B6, pantothenic acid, copper, and manganese. How do antioxidants benefit the health? Here's the tips. Unlike many fruits, lemons do not ripen or improve in quality after picking. People should harvest lemons when they are ripe and store them at room temperature away from direct sunlight. Lemons pair well with both savory and sweet dishes. How sad that they don't improve over time while they're ripening. 
the following helpful recipes use the lemons and they've got some great ones there for you uh, squeeze lemon onto various things I'll put it that way dress salads with fresh lemon juice a small amount yeah I'll leave that too none of that's my food it might be yours I'm gonna include this in the description of the video but here's lemon water some people say that lemon water has a wide range of benefits from weight loss to relieving depression. In high enough quantities, the various nutrients in lemon may produce these health benefits. However, consuming lemon water instead of juice or soda might be beneficial because it reduces a person's intake of sugar. Drinking plenty of lemon water can also prevent dehydration. Should you follow the lemon detox diet? Find out here. Here are the risks. Lemons have a high acid content, so their juice may affect people with mouth ulcers. Guy, you have to be obsessed. It can cause a stinging sensation. Gastro, gastro, esa, gastro esophageal reflux disease, or GERD. It can worsen symptoms such as heartburn and regurgitation. I believe it. All right, takeaway. The nutrients in lemons often offer several health benefits. However, it is difficult to obtain all the necessary nutrients from lemon due to its sour taste and high acid content. However, consuming lemon juice is part of a varied diet that includes plenty of other fresh fruits and vegetables can make a person's diet more nutrition. Nutritious, forgive me, question. Is bottled lemon juice as nutritious as fresh lemons? Da, na, 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 na. The 100% bottled lemon juice is suitable for some food preparation applications, such as canning, where the acidity of the product might be high enough to produce the desired reaction. However, bottled lemon juice does not have the same vitamin C content as fresh lemon juice. It's important to take note that vitamin C is sensitive to light and heat and will diminish rather quickly in fresh lemon juice if people do not store it in a cool, dark environment in a non-metal container. I wasn't really that pleased with that article, <laughs> but I do not have time to do another one. Let me see really quickly on my health line. So interesting. My health line, let's just go with the topics. Improves hydration, so did the other one say that. It's good source of vitamin C, so did the other. Supports weight loss, so did the other. Improves skin quality, so did the other. It aids in digestion. I don't think our other one said that, so let me read that. Uh, some people drink lemon water as a daily morning laxative to help prevent constipation. Drinking warm or hot lemon water when you wake up may help get your digestive system moving. Ayurvedic, and I'm saying it wrong, medicine says that sour lemon taste helps stimulate your an agni. In Ayurvedic medicine, a strong agni jump starts the digestive system, allowing you to digest food more easily and helping to prevent the buildup of toxins. Super interesting. It freshens breath. The other one didn't say that either. Have you ever rubbed a lemon on your hands to get rid of the smell of garlic or some other strong odor? So, yes a gazillion billion times because I am hypersensitive. The same folk remedy may apply to bad breath caused by eating foods with strong smells such as garlic, onions, or fish. You might avoid bad breath by drinking a glass of lemon water after meals and first thing in the morning. Lemon is thought to stimulate saliva and water, also helps prevent a dry mouth, which can lead to bad breath caused by bacteria, of course. Um, it helps prevent kidney stones. It didn't say that either. The citric acid in lemon may help prevent kidney stones. Citrate, a component of citric acid, paradoxically makes urine less acidic. Yeah, that's such a surprise, isn't it? And may even break up small stones. Drinking lemon water not only gets you citrate, but also the water you need to help prevent or flush out kidney stones. You gotta love that. So for them, how to make lemon water? In order to reap any health benefits of lemon water, you need to drink it consistently, and you need more than just a single wedge of lemon in your mug. When making lemon water, always use fresh lemons rather than artificial lemons from a bottle. To make lemon water, squeeze half a lemon into eight ounces of warm or cold water. To make the drink as healthy as possible, use filtered water and organic lemons. You can infuse more flavor or add a health boost to your lemon water by adding a few sprigs of mint, 
a teaspoon of maple syrup or raw honey. That's a no for me. A slice of fresh ginger. What's up? A dash of cinnamon. Hello. A sprinkle of turmeric. Yes, I'm all in. You can also add slices of other fresh citrus, such as limes or oranges or cucumber. Always wash the produce well before slicing and using. Having lemon ice cubes on hand is a great way to add lemon to your water fast. Simply squeeze fresh lemon juice into an ice cube tray and freeze. Drop a few cubes into a glass of cold or hot water as needed. You can start your morning with a mug of warm lemon water and keep a pitcher of water infused with a few slices of lemon in your refrigerator to drink throughout the day. Side effects of lemon water. Lemon water is generally safe to drink, but there are a few potential side effects to be aware of. Lemon contains citric acid, which may erode tooth enamel. Uh, to limit the risk, drink lemon water through a straw and rinse your mouth with plain water afterwards. I forget to rinse my mouth. When it comes to heartburn, lemon water can go either way. The citric acid may cause heartburn in some people. Others experience relief from heartburn as lemon juice becomes alkaline, reducing acidity and digestion. Only experimenting can tell its effect on you. Some people report more frequent trips to the bathroom when drinking lemon water. Although vitamin C is often believed to be a diuretic, something that increases the amount of urine you produce, evidence does not show that vitamin C from natural sources like lemons has diuretic effects. If you experience any of your extra bathroom breaks while drinking lemon water, it's more than likely caused by increased water intake, not the lemon. The takeaway? Research shows lemon water has many potential health benefits. Aside from those, adding lemon water, lemon to your water may help you drink more throughout the day and keep you hydrated. Staying hydrated is critical to good health. So lemon water is pretty much a win-win. <laughs> okay, and as I suggested for my lemon water, I literally take warm water. I take a full lemon with the pith and simply drop it in. I use a whole tablespoon of turmeric. I use a teaspoon of black pepper. I, I already have these pre-mixed, but if I'm doing it this way, I, I use a teaspoon. And then I will use like, um, you know, this much of my finger of fresh ginger if I have it. Otherwise I use a full teaspoon of ginger. And as I suggested, sometimes I add a little bit of heat with like a sprinkle of cayenne, or I may even put cinnamon. I blend the entire thing up and I drink, drink, drink. Um, if I'm making like my mega drink, because I don't have any uh, stomach issues. So if I'm doing a mega drink, I take those four things just like that. And then I literally add, um, uh, I don't know, I think it's a whole ounce. I don't even know. But I'll put in my green powder with it. And then I'll add way more water. And I'll literally have like, instead of that, which would be like almost three cups, I'll have more like six cups, and I'll drink that like as an early breakfast initially. Anyway, though, like if you like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Let me know below what you do with your lemon water, or if this is new to you and you might go for it. As I suggested, I will attach the other videos in the description of this one. And until we talk again, my friends, stay cooler than I am. And, well, no one's cooler than I am, let's be fair. <laughs> um, physically cooler. And know that you're blessed.